So there's something that you shouldn't be worried about. Um, something is in God's hands. Something is out of your control. <clears throat> I mean, you can do what you can do. But there's something that you shouldn't be stressed out about. Um, because it's going to work out in your favor. And someone is looking forward to seeing you again. So that could go along with that one 13-minute one that I just recorded. Because it, it looked like somebody was coming back. Um, it, I think it said something about like goodbye until we meet again or something like that. Or join the wave, bring him home sooner. So it was something about bringing somebody home. Um, so let's see what this one is going to be about. Let him have it. Extra war bond. So somebody went extra hard to do something or go against you. Um, whoever you are in the upright, the divine femme or masculine. This is somebody who is not held in high honor. This is somebody who is very... I'm just hearing a disgrace. I'm just hearing disgrace. And you know, that, that part from Mulan where the dragon's like, dishonor on you, dishonor on your whole family. Like, that's the energy I just got. Like, dishonor on everybody you know. Proud to be my husband, wants me to do my part. So this involves a married couple or somebody that you could have been married to. Um, and they tried to stop you from blowing the whistle on something or they were trying to stop something from being exposed. Darn tootin' will keep them shooting. So they didn't want the whistle being blown on something. Or this could be something being blown about, um, you know, a married couple who was not held in high honor did something very despicable, um, possibly to cause some heavy burdens for you. So let's see. Let's see if anything else comes out before I move on. Oh, the girl with a future, cadet, nurse, a lifetime education free. So somebody could have been in the medical field, nursing. This could have been um, one of them or you. Um, one of these karmics, um, I'm getting like this is a karmic married couple. Not necessarily someone that you had to have been married to. It could have been, but this is um, a karmic married couple. And one of them was a nurse or in the nursing or medical field. now all together so there's a group of people here that are coming together to make something happen are you doing all you can so there's a group of people here that could be working to make you feel like you're not doing enough or you're not working hard enough oh so there's a group of people here that are trying to heavy burden you and they're working together to like give it their all to come up against you and even though these people are causing you some sort of harm, you're either not worried or you shouldn't worry about it. There's a reason to not be worried about it for some reason. There's something that's being worked out. Whether you know this or not, something is being worked out. Someone is juggling finances with the Two of Pentacles. This could be you. Um, or you could just be juggling life in general, dealing with a lot of stuff. Um, the Queen of Cups, you know, you're loving, caring, compassionate, emotionally balanced. And somebody was just really evil and sadistic with a star in the reverse. Somebody was very evil and somebody did something really evil and dark and shady to you. And they have their little cronies, their little homies, their little buddies here working together to overburden you so that you can't do what you need to do to make something happen. <coughs> But I'm hearing, don't worry, whatever it is that you can't provide, someone else is going to be able to provide it for you. So, um, there's something you shouldn't worry about because someone's got your back. Because you're the high priestess here. You're a high priestess. And you're going to have a victory with the Ace of Swords here. This is a yes for you. So something is going to go, um in your favor some sort of truth is being illuminated or spoken um a judgment of truth or righteous i'm hearing a righteous judgment you could have placed judgment on somebody or a group of people because they were very immature and they lied on you so there's a group that could be under judgment because they caused heavy burdens to you and they lied and they did this intentionally But it looks 
looks like somebody is looking forward to seeing you again. And this could be a friend or somebody. I'm hearing I owe you one. So I'm not sure what that's about. But somebody feels like they owe you something. Um, like a favor. Maybe you were nice to them in the past. Maybe you did something for them. Um, or help them out in some sort of way. And they feel like they need to repay that by helping you out in some sort of way. You're going to be celebrating because there is a group of people scrambling to do something. Um, but it's going to work out in your favor. Um, I'm seeing like, you know, the energy I'm getting is like, you know, the Batman and Robin movie, like the old school one, um, where Robin, um, oh God, which one? I, I can't remember who played Batman in that one. Um, but anyways, where they, you know, his family's a bunch of like, um, Oh God, the flying, the flying something, the, his name was Robin anyways, but him and his family. Yeah. Um, so they ended up all getting killed or whatever, but that's what I'm seeing is like somebody scrambling, like hopping over, like somebody's hopping over obstacles, like jumping from like rope to rope, you know, like trying to get other people in on something to help them do something. And it's going to be a cause for celebration for you. The flying Graysons. That's what it is. The flying Graysons. I can't remember if it was um, Michael Keaton or Val Kilmer or uh, George Clooney. I can't remember which one it was. <laughs> but anyway, we have a Queen of Swords here. So we have a feminine energy that was a liar that lied. <sighs> They caused an imbalance and they placed barriers in your path. So there's a feminine energy here that told some sort of lie to place barriers in your path and cause an imbalance intentionally. So this was a cold-hearted bitch that did this. So I'm not going to beat around the bush. Someone was very cold-hearted. <clears throat> Balance is going to be restored. We have the Queen of Wands energy here. So there could be somebody in a position of authority that's going to bring balance to a situation. Or this could be you, the Queen of Wands as well. Um, where balance is going to be restored for someone who's a natural born leader. So somebody that dated you or wanted to date you, wanted to take your gifts or talents from you. Um, this could be somebody who dated you to try to copycat you or steal something or mimic something that you do. It has to do with something with your gift or talent. person can't rest so someone is not resting whether this is them wanting you to not be able to rest to keep you fighting and battling so that you can't concentrate do what you need to do um, or this person is having trouble resting at night or sleeping knowing damn well what they did to you There's a masculine energy here. There's an emperor who has money coming towards them or growing pentacles here with the nine of pentacles. So there's a masculine energy here that could be doing well financially or is seeing the fruit of their labors. You know, they've worked really hard and they're starting to see their finances paying off. getting a very concerning message about how at peace you are there you are again you queen of wands <laughs> you queen of wands you someone is concerned about how at peace you are because these people are trying to cause heavy burdens for you keep you stressed out not being able to focus they want to try to knock you off balance they don't want you to see what's coming or to be able to defend yourself or protect yourself i'm hearing you have all the receipts you need all the documents you need and what you don't have um, someone else is going to provide it for you. So somebody has something that you need and it, they're going to help you out somehow in some way, shape or form regarding the situation. The hangman. So something may be paused or put on hold for a moment. Um, because somebody wanted you isolated or put in isolation. So somebody could be taking a moment to ch chill out, reflect about why someone worked so hard to put you in isolation. What is the reasoning for this? Why would somebody lie to have you isolated alone from everybody? Um, 
and not have anyone to help you, you know, anyone that you could count on or rely on. Somebody took a moment to think about this. What would be the reason for doing this to somebody, to another person? What does this person have to gain from doing this is what I'm hearing. These are the questions that someone is asking themselves in this pause and reflection mode. Like someone is asking themselves some real hard questions here and something's not making sense. Especially because there's a lot of talk and communication going on within the community about somebody, um, and this could be you, that a lot of people are talking about. So there's a group of people here with the Five of Wands. So we have a group of people here that... And an injustice and a high, an unofficial person, a higher effect. I want to get a couple more cards about this group here. I want to know if they're on the up and up or if this is the group that's working, doing gymnastics here, jumping through hoops to try to help you out. Because there was an unofficial person that caused you an injustice. And there's a group of people here that are scrambling to get the truth out or, or get a message of the truth. Um, or there's a group here that are getting a message of truth about what happened to you regarding this hierophant, this unofficial asshole, this dark spiritualist, false spiritualist, fake preacher, teacher, prophet, whatever the fuck this person is, that created an injustice for you. Could be a religious person as well. So, could be a religious person, whoever this person is, that created an injustice for you. There's a message of the truth that's coming to this group. And this is concerning to somebody because you're going to get your happiness, your Ten of Cups. And somebody is upset and concerned about you reaching this level of happiness. And someone is trying to figure out why someone worked so hard to isolate you and keep you away from everybody. Why did somebody work so hard to cause you some sort of heartbreak, to stop you from traveling, moving forward, even stop communication or stop you from receiving messages? You know, if no one knows where to find you and they can't communicate with you, um, I don't know. I think I mentioned in this last one, I mentioned... Um, something about being off the grid. That could be in my little short 13-minute one or this one. I can't remember um, where I just mentioned that, but it was recent. Um, but you could have been off the grid, hiding from people, just trying to get the fuck away from everybody. Um, I believe that wasn't my 13-minute one, my shorter one. But, I mean, it, it goes along with this. Somebody wanted you to not be able to communicate. They didn't want you... Um, to speak to anyone, and they didn't want anyone to be able to hear what you had to say or to be able to defend yourself. Somebody wanted you completely alone, and someone's like, Why? Why? What is this person? Someone's trying to figure out what someone is hiding now. Why would somebody work so hard to do this? So, especially to a star. So, someone is seeing you as the star. Uh, you have a divine connection. So, you know, you, there, there's a hierophant in the reverse that worked against the star. And maybe this mofo didn't know that they were teaming up against a star when they teamed up against, you know, you. Possibly with their own spouse or with somebody. Um, there's definitely a karmic married couple here. So, but somebody, and this karmic married couple could have teamed up with this unofficial person. Somebody had an addiction or obsession. This is the devil card in the reverse. What's stopping you from getting an offer? And this is a greedy ass king of pentacles, a gold digging ass motherfucker. So what did they have to gain by isolating you and cutting off all your communication to other people? Someone has a decision to make. Someone's at a crossroads here. Another card. Oh, this one was flipped over too. Somebody wants to be caring and somebody wants to offer you some flowers. So somebody could be at a crossroads because they want to be caring and compassionate and empathetic towards you and they want to offer you some flowers. That's sweet. Yeah, and someone's in despair. With the nine of swords here, someone's in despair. about a union this could be a divine union or about secrets being exposed what was done in darkness being brought to light 
um, your divine counterpart could be in despair after finding out all of this and asking themselves the right questions. There's some sort of swift action that's going to be taken. So you could be expecting some sort of, um, you know, swift communication, swift message information, um, because somebody was not in their life's calling, they were not in their legacy, and they were trying to stop you from being in yours. So this person was jealous and envious of you, this hierophant in the reverse. So, like, if you're spiritual and this person's religious, they may not have the spiritual gifts you have. But, yeah, they could preach on it in church or some shit like that. So somebody doesn't practice what they preach, and meanwhile, you are the real deal. And this is devastating for somebody to find out. Um, they kind of feel like everything that they believed in, they could be questioning everything that they believe in at this point. Because maybe they grew up in church or something as well. Um, or maybe they viewed themselves as more religious and someone is finding something very um, crazy out and they're not liking what they're finding out. It, it actually does have them in a state of despair. All right, not getting anything else, so let's move along. Someone could be in despair over someone being sneaky and stealthy regarding a high priestess here, or high priest, because somebody was an emperor in the reverse. <sighs> so someone is doing some sneaky and shady shit to a high priest or high priestess, and there's an emperor in the reverse that has something to do with this. So we have the Ace of um, Pentacles here. So we have um, a judgment um, or something or a transformation coming. We have a transformation coming here. An Ace of Pentacles, a new start, a new beginning. And this has an, you know, time's up for this unofficial person, this unofficial mofo. And this, they're pissed. So this unofficial hierophant in the reverse is pissed off. If they're not, they're going to be. Because someone is getting their new start or new beginning here. So they could have been really pissed to find out. This emperor, this tyrant energy could have been really pissed to find out that the, their time was up to do something. But yet they're still being sneaky and stealthy um, and trying to do something. And that's because they're having bad luck. So they've been experiencing bad luck. Things aren't going their way because they were doing shady shit to a high priestess. Well, and they're a hierophant in the reverse. So they're not even a true spiritualist. They're a fraud. They're a fake. They're a phony. And somebody wants to offer you flowers. And, you know, um, you know, I really like my Care Bears cards and stuff. But every time I see this one with the flowers and then the popsicle... Um, somebody could be fantasizing a lot about some dirty sexual things involving you. Um, you know. So this person who wants to offer you some flowers is very attracted to you sexually, possibly. <laughs> or vice versa. Could go both ways. And I, you know, you could be sexually attracted to this person as well. But a witchy energy is not happy about this. There's somebody who was not happy about their time running out, about bad luck that they're experiencing. Um, they could have been pissed to find out that somebody wants to offer you some flowers. And this could even be, okay, you know, I gotta say it, just because I gotta say it. This karmic couple that, were, that was doing something to you, if the karmic female was the queen of swords in the reverse it could be this masculine who has decided they don't want to be with this karmic and they want to come towards you i'm being led to say that it doesn't have to be this could be somebody completely different that wants to come towards you and offer you flowers we have somebody here that's having some dirty sexual thoughts about you um somebody wants to come towards you or they're on their path towards you or you could be on your right path 
um, and someone is appearing very cold-hearted, very unemotional. So someone could be on their way towards you to make you some sort of offer. Um, they could be reminiscing about some sex. So this could be somebody maybe that you were friends with benefits at one time, somebody that you were intimate with at one time, if this is not connected to um, the married couple thing, okay? If this is somebody that's separate from that, you know, I'm seeing this two different ways. This is a collective read, so this is going two different directions, okay? So just bear with me here. I'm trying to see it bo both sides of this. All right. So someone is being very um, unemotional about them coming towards you. Um, you have no idea this person wants to get down and dirty with you. But they're thinking about you in a very sexual way. So this is somebody that you could have already been intimate with, all right? Uh, but somebody betrayed you, or somebody betrayed another person, um, they had some bad luck here, and they did not get their wish fulfillment, they could have been doing some sort of spell work, hibbity jibbity dibbity doo um, sprinkling on some bullshit, um, so somebody was not someone's wish fulfillment, um, there was a betrayal, someone was disloyal, and they experienced bad luck. So, on the flip side of that, if this is not somebody, you know, that maybe you just dated or casually dated or, you know, maybe you're friendly with, um, this could have been somebody that you were in a relationship with that betrayed you uh, because a queen of swords um, lied to them, did some spell work on them, you know, sprinkled some shit in their food, um, and they could have left you out in the cold for this other person and then got married to them. Okay, so actually now I'm seeing it three different ways. So there's oh, there's a lot going on here. There, yeah, there's a lot of energies like um, trying to flood this reading. So I'm trying to read it as covering all the bases as much as I can. So there was a witchy energy here who caused this betrayal, and this is the Queen of Swords in the reverse. So there's a queen of swords. Okay, so there's a queen of swords here in the reverse that did a lust spell. I, okay, so that was right. I, okay, so that's, I'm on the right track as far as that aspect goes. So there was a queen of swords here that did some sort of spell work on a masculine, lied to them to get them to hook up with them. This person is in despair because now they want to come towards you as the king of cups energy, uh, being all sneaky and sly and shit. But... Um, I don't know, man. I think they married this person. They married someone else at some point. So this person was married. So there was a karmic couple working against you. Um, and you could have been in a relationship with one of them at one time. Um, they, uh, all right. Let's pull some cards here. Yowza. So someone is being spiteful, you or or them lied about you or somebody else. So someone who's being spiteful um, lied about you, or they lied about someone regarding you, or something like that. Um, so yeah, someone's being spiteful, they lied. This was a religious figure, this is the Hierophant in the reverse, this person I said was... Um, up to some shady business here. Uh, so this person thought they were going to get something accomplished in a matter of days. And this is in the reverse. So something didn't happen as quickly as they thought it was going to. They thought something would happen in a matter of days. And they are crazy. I know how to use crazy. So this person snapped, did something impulsively to be spiteful. And they lied about you. So they thought something would happen quickly. It didn't. So, in the upright, they're still being spiteful, and they lied about you, and you're going to have to be strong to get through this bullshit, alright? You're going to have to be strong for a minute. I mean, it's not like you haven't been strong. 
air sign Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and December could be significant. For all intents and purposes, this person left you licking your wounds. They hurt you. This person is still being a pain in the not pain in the butt. So, in another case, you know, back to the other original um, theory here is um, somebody. You know, there is a married couple that's working against you, um, and someone's still trying to be a pain in the neck, a pain in the butt, and they're connected to an emperor in the reverse for you, <clears throat> who's still being a pain in the neck, a pain in the butt. Um, which means that it would not be that person that would want to make you an offer. So, uh, like I said, I'm seeing this different ways. There's a person who wants to be compassionate towards you and offer you flowers. And th that person's not being a pain in the neck, a pain in the butt um, in that case. But whoever this is, man, you guys have a lot going on here. I'm trying to get as much clarity for you as I can. But there's a lot of different scenarios going on here all at once. You're going to be free and easy, free as a bird. Because all's fair in love and war. So, well, yeah, someone has made a decision. Someone was at a crossroads. They want to be caring, compassionate, and empathetic towards you. They want to offer you some flowers. But then this one's throwing me off. Someone's being, you know, sneaky. And, you know, and that could be because they're trying to keep their emotions hidden. Or it could be because they're still trying to be spiteful and vindictive towards you. It depends on where you are in this. You know, not every part of the message is for everybody. And like I said, there's like three different scenarios going on here. So take what does resonate and apply to you and just let the rest go. Because some of it's going to apply. Some of it may not. If this whole thing applies to you, then uh, God help you. God help you. That's all I can say. There's something significant about February. Someone is finding out um, in February or somebody wanted someone to be as poor as a church mouse in February. Um, and these were two people working together, two peas in a pod. This could be the married couple here. Um, and they're about to go through some trials and tribulations because they put you in poverty. Okay. Because someone plays for the other team. So someone is you're up or somebody is bisexual. They didn't see a twist of fate coming. So if they wanted you to be in poverty or expected to um, have, you know, take everything you have, leave you with nothing, there's a twist of fate here that somebody doesn't see coming for this dishonorable person. Dishonor on them, dishonor on their whole family, dishonor on everybody they fucking know. Because somebody has seen the light. Somebody knows what's going on here. <clears throat> And you are going to be very happy. Because these karmics were beating a dead horse. This person could have been older than you. Older than dirt. They thought they were older and wiser. So this person could have thought that they were older and wiser. Um, you know, that maybe they were smarter because they were older than you. And it turns out they're just a dumbass. You know what happens. And they were playing the field. And they're not the real deal. You know, and for some of you, if that's the person that is coming back to you once, been twice shy, they're not they're not going to gain access to you. But for some of you, there is somebody who does want to be caring and compassionate towards you, and they didn't do all the shit that this person did. So, you know, you have to find your place in this mess, because there's a lot. <laughs> it's just, there just is. The letter L could be significant. G. So LG appliances could be significant. Somebody could be getting all new appliances. Oh. Oh shit. Someone could have. I'm here. I got. Mm. Long dong. I'm not going to elaborate. I'm just hearing long dong. I'm not going to say anymore. I. D. 
Oh. So D.I.E. die. Someone could be passing away as well. Dialogue. Oh, that spells dialogue. There's gonna be a conversation. Okay. I'm gonna go with V. That one's broken. Some of them are breaking. A lot of them are breaking. Why? And E. So Kev could be significant as well. Kiev could be significant. K I E V. Um, someone could be Russian. Okay. So I have D I E L O G K E. Y and V. I hope this helps. Have a good day.